Just a second ago, I walked through these doors. And last time I came here, I did not film what's back there. And I saw, and I so, I am so, so, so happy that I'm refilming this. Because I think the best bedroom in the house is right back there. Yo, what is up everyone? It is your boy, Big Banks. We are back again for another adventure. Today, we are here in France at an abandoned mansion that I'm walking up to right now. We're walking up on the backside. This is actually the gate that you would drive into this place. So, I'm gonna give you a little rundown of this place. We already did come here before, but I wanted to give a better uh, history lesson on this. I wanted to show you more in depth and I wanted to just have a better vibe at this place. So, this mansion is like a $10 million mansion, okay? The man that owned this, he was from Switzerland. Him and his family lived here. And the man owned a very large zinc company out of China. But in 2008, his company suffered a blackout in the town and ultimately it shut down. So he sold his company off, took all of his money, came back here, retired, and lived in the mansion with his family until he passed away in 2016. So everything is left inside of this place. It is an absolute time capsule. It's so beautiful in there. And basically what happened after he passed away, his family just wanted to move back to Switzerland, wanted to move back to their hometown and everything. And they left this place behind. They took what they could, but it, you know, unfortunately there's still a lot of stuff left in here. So we're gonna check it out today. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, comment down below where you're from, where you're watching this from, and go ahead and leave a like. So, let's get right into this adventure. So guys, just walking up the driveway right now, I'm looking at the mansion, and it is absolutely stunning. The architecture on this is unbelievable. This place is magnificent. Out of here, in France, beautiful countryside of France. This was like a garden out here. As you can tell, it's raining. We have a gazebo right over there, and of course we have the main attraction itself, the mansion. I believe this thing was worth about $10 million. I could be a little bit wrong, but look at it. It is a massive house, and we're going to take you inside today. But right here, they had a garden. They had this big wall, this barrier, that goes all the way around the property, all the way down to the road, and up here. There's even an own personal pond and everything at this mansion. Check it out, it's a beautiful day. I don't think it's raining anymore. I think they're, it's just caught falling from the, from the trees. So before we take a look inside, we're gonna do a little montage of this place and tell you a full rundown history. I know I gave you a little brief summary of what it was, but before we go inside, Let's check it out. What's up everyone? We have made it inside of the mansion. Guys, if you are familiar with this channel and you've been watching for a long time, you're regulars, you've probably seen this place before. We went to this place on our last France trip 
and I don't feel like I did the video enough justice. I know we already talked outside a little bit, but I just wanted to bring you back inside and check this place out again, this Swiss millionaire's mansion who owned a zinc company that went under in 2008 during a blackout in China. This place is still magnificent. Not a lot has changed since I've been here and I'm ready to show you guys this whole place again. So if you're new and you haven't seen this place, you're really in for a treat. If you've already seen this video, guys, we're gonna go more in detail and see what else is left in this place. And I hope you guys enjoy this video today. It's a much more beautiful day today and we're actually gonna get to fly the drone. We didn't get to fly last time because it was raining. But without further ado, guys, we are going to check out this mansion again. This is the second time. I normally don't film places twice, but I feel like I didn't do this place good enough justice. Some people have also made rumors that this place was owned by a serial killer. And I just don't know if I believe that, you know what I mean? Either way, we're gonna go through this place and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into it. So we just started in this room inside. This is where we're gonna start out and we're gonna move upstairs. Upstairs is the best rooms of this entire place. And you're gonna wanna stick around to see that because it is absolutely amazing. Drop dead, gorgeous rooms. Everything is left behind. This place is an absolute time capsule. Left behind around 2014. So, I'm gonna start you guys off in the master bedroom. It's not the best bedroom in the house, but they just keep getting better and better. I'm just gonna keep showing you room to room until we get to the best of the best in this house. We're in the master bedroom right now. And this guy, like I said, he owned a zinc company in China, so there's gonna be some Chinese type themed things in here, like this carpet and this pillow in here. And I love, love how big this room is. It's so spacious. And the bed, very, very nice and neat type of bed frame here it's with the pink floral. Check out that. There's that dragon pillow. It's sad to see the stuff that is still left in here though. Even his shoes that he used to wear are right here. Looks like he would just sit in his chair to put his shoes on time. Very beautiful fireplace. I really, really love this fireplace. A lot of them in France look like this. And it's just beautiful. Wild tear. I'm uncle. Wow. It's like photos of birds in here and different wildlife. So maybe this is wildlife in Africa in the Congo. There's a giraffe. These look like actual photos. Yeah, it's like actual photos in here. It's weird. Very cool. But this room is the largest bedroom of the house. And look at that, there must be, there had to have been some sort of chandelier hanging up in here. Look at how ornate that is. I wonder what happens to the chandeliers if people take them, if family members take them, what happens to them? But this is the master bedroom. I wonder if there's anything in these drawers or if we can even open them. Cause a lot of furniture here Candles are just missing from this. There's the lamp and your beautiful bed. Now, from the bedroom, you know it's always with the bedroom, is a closet. Now we're gonna enter this really big master closet here. Still a lot of clothes left behind. Now they took a lot of their stuff when they left. They took a lot of their clothing, things that they would need like that. You see, I'm also stepping on fur coats and whatnot that they didn't take. Here's old shirts that are still hanging up in here. Some linens, these are some sheets and pillowcases. Check that out. More of the same. But this closet also is much larger than it looks. It goes all the way around to the back here. And we'll see, we open this, some shirts are still hanging up, some jackets. 
I don't know what brand this is. Top, Top Text Pro. Looks like this guy wore my size. Look at that shirt. This is one funky shirt right here. And the closet doesn't stop there. It keeps going around to the back. It kind of gets cluttered back here though, so it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder how hard it was to actually like maneuver around this closet. And yes, I know we see a chair here. Later on in his life, he became more disabled where he couldn't get around much anymore. And this is why he had to use it around. See, this is actually a button that moves the chair up and down, lays it down and whatnot. And it's just sitting back here in the corner, left forgotten. And you get back here to these closets, there's not much clothes left. There still is some, but for the most part, it was taken out. Here's your cleaning chemicals and whatnot, more the same. So you can see how instead of it being like a built-in closet to a house, they would bring in these big cabinets here and use these as closets. So this would just be one big room, but they turned it into the closet space. And then of course, I come to the bathroom. Check that out. This is like a handicapped uh, type of type of a uh, tub and it has a handle here. So I think, well, it doesn't want to open. You would open this up like that and it would be easier for you to scoot in. The water would come in here. You can tilt this up and down to get yourself a full bath if you're more disabled, not able to yourself. And then there's kind of a more modern looking shower here. I wonder if the water... No, no water. But look at that. This looks like different nozzles here. So I wonder if you would just sit here and it would just spray you. I haven't really seen a shower like that. And there's even a fireplace in the, sh in the bathroom. This is really weird. <laughs> But I don't know if you guys can see, but look at the spider webs. That is a lot. And <laughs> I will tell you guys something. One of my biggest fears is spiders. The other day we were in an Airbnb and I felt something crawling on my neck and I reached over and like, you know, did that. And it was a huge spider. Like I'm talking like probably like, I don't know. It's hard to put it in size. Not as big as my hand, but big enough to freak me out. <laughs> and I see so many spiders here in France. It's crazy how many spiders are here. But let's keep walking through this. This is a quite an amazing house. I'm glad I'm showing you this more in detail and more in depth, but we're still in the bathroom. And one thing I noticed last time is there is a washer and a dryer here with your toilet. And this is one of those fancy toilets that also acts as a bidet. So you get both, it's a two in one. Then you have your washer and dryer. And this is also a washer. It's a manual type washer. You put your clothes in here. And I believe you, what is it? There's a way to like spin it, but it's like a manual type washer. You throw your clothes in there, some water, and there you go. Now this guy was from Switzerland. So some of the stuff written on the walls is all written in like a German. So, see how they took, they took a lot of things, but they still left quite a bit. Right here is a hallway that goes straight to the staircase, straight to your front door. And then right here is another little bathroom. So you got your toilet here. Looks like somebody has used it recently. Very gross. You have your bathtub. The walls are all yellow in here. I wonder what this was for. What do you use this thing for? I don't know. I'm not sure. It also looks like they were gonna try to renovate at one point in time, but they didn't. And I just noticed this floor. Look at that. I'm a big geek on these floors these different tiles, I love it. 
so much. Like one day when I have a house, I'm going to like go crazy with the floors. Like I might do like a resin floor, maybe like a checkered floor, maybe something like this. I just want my house to be really unique. I really like tacky stuff, honestly. Like it's better to be unique and weird than to be plain and boring. Now, I'm serious about that. So, <laughs> right here, they left a lot of razors. Like quite a bit of razors. And their toothbrushes and stuff are still here. I'm just scared of opening drawers because I don't want like a spider to be in them. <laughs> we'll come back out. There's some like skis in here for on the lakes and stuff. And some golf and a golf club bag, but there's no golf clubs. So this guy was definitely outdoorsy. But check this out. There's this beautiful orange door here that was it's you know it's arched and everything. And it comes into this big room right here, which I believe was the family room. Which we're gonna like not open that door right now. We're gonna go around the other way. <laughs> so let's continue on this side. Before I show you the front right here, I'm gonna show you what's in this room. Because this is right next to the master bedroom. So I'm assuming this might have been maybe a more formal living room or maybe even a formal dining room of some sort. It's very beautiful in here. There is still actually a chandelier, which is very nice to see. Love to see that. The floors are very beautiful. You have a very nice fireplace and all these books. Yeah. This is from 2002. Oh, we got a band in Nashville in the house. What's up guys? Or Jeremy Nash, whatever it is by the time this comes out. <laughs> not gonna lie, this room looks a little bit cleaner than last time I saw it. Which is not a bad thing. One thing we always have to be careful about in these buildings is this right here. If you guys don't know what this is in the corner, that is called black mold. That is very toxic. You don't want to stay in this room very long. It's not in a lot of the house, it's mostly just in like this room and a room back there. I know you guys are gonna come at me in the comments for not wearing a mask. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Me and Jeremy, though, we're like immune to this stuff. <laughs> right, immune. As far as we think right now, we'll probably find out in 30 years or so. <laughs> but there's a whole collection of books here, all written in German. Must have been a big painting right in this, too. But I'm assuming this is more of a formal dining room of some sort. This, this is what it gives off in here. There would be a big table here. You know, the chandelier hanging above it, chairs and everything. Man, I can, I'm just trying to picture it back in the day. And I bet it was amazing. But this just really gives off vibes that they were going to try to renovate it at one point. also dubbed as like a dining room and like a breakfast area. The kitchen's right next to me. There's a lot of stuff left in here. So there's a lot to see in this room. So let's get into it. So like I said, I believe this is like a family room of some sort. Like, I know there's no TV or anything in here, but I mean, the couch is here. It looks like they would have had breakfast, you know. Here's like a dining room table. So, and the kitchens are right next to it. I mean, so this is definitely where they would have had more casual eating and stuff like that. But I do think that room we saw a little bit ago was the formal dining. But there's two areas over here. So maybe one's for more like family night, like board games and things like that. 
so if you guys can see this floor is very warped so much water damage has gotten into this place there's black mold like all on the ceiling up there black mold all right here like these are the this is the worst room for the mold so i'm not going to try to be in here very long but beautiful couch look at that beautiful i love couches that look like this you have a very very nice fireplace it has the two pillars on the side it has the ornate details right there and then right above it you have this painting of a bird dog looking at some ducks in this beautiful field and like the autumn and like autumn and here's one thing i remember from last time we came here is these books these books written in german definitely an older book for sure see all of the floor just falling apart and decaying and the roof that is falling right here but one thing i do love about the ceiling is how like you know different it is it's not just flat it's got some you know details in it and another chandelier that is still here so that's amazing to see and then here's this table where i think it feels more like a game night type of table like you could just sit here maybe drink some drink some beer, play some board games with your family and whatnot. Maybe play some checkers. But it's hard to tell, it's hard to just tell what people use things for, you know, just by seeing it as, a, as an abandoned place, you know? Because like, I don't know these people. I didn't live their lives. I never knew what they could have used this for. For all I know, they could have played board games right here. But I love Love these carpets, these rugs that are all in these houses, all over France, and all over like just mansions everywhere. They have, this is like a common theme to see rugs like this. There's actually drawers in this too. See if there's anything in it. it won't even open, look at that. See, it's been sitting here so long that it's just stuck. These are definitely fake flowers, guys, made of plastic, so. There's that. <laughs> and it looks like when we're outside, let's take a look. They had like a garden out here too. So there's like a wall that goes around the property. This is the gate they would have drove in at. And they had this little garden area right back here. This is the back side of the house. But this room is the largest room this is like one living space eating space all that in this house and just so much decay is coming in look at that it's just been open to the elements for so long that you know the floors have just warped because of the water so we got a bookshelf a lot of different books in it all written in german again this looks like a map down here. I wonder what it's a map for. If it's for France, Paris, Macon, Lyon, Clermont. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe they use that with that van out there so they could get around. Because they like to travel a lot, that's for sure. Here's some China. Still hanging up here. And you can see all the debris, the black mold that's on the wall is just like touching it all. Yeah, look at that. And this is like a long cabinet that might have had like plates in it. It looks like it has plates in it, I can see, but I don't want to walk on that floor there. That floor looks really sketchy. You got the beautiful table here. And just take a look at this room, how large it is. So. Let's see what's in the kitchen. It was a bit different. I mean, it looks exactly the same as last time, except this whole cabinet full of magazines has fallen. And it smells very bad in here. The kitchen looks like it was going to be under renovation. But look at all these old magazines that were here. The kitchen is just not very interesting. There's like tools in here and whatnot. They were definitely gonna renovate this and they just stopped. So I think what had happened is it was, it was mid renovation and the guy passed away 
of an unfortunate death and the family just could not keep up with it. So they left and left all this stuff behind. We got Steve Ronan in the house, everyone. What's up guys, you know, just flower vlogging. Flower vlogging. Because people water these plants, right? Yeah, bro. Someone must come here every day, water the plants. <laughs> Those flowers there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Even fruits. I've seen fruits in the band places. I'm just like, wow. Wow. Like, they're just here. How are they not rotting? They, they're not rotting. Like, yeah. <laughs> there must be something in the air in a band places that just preserve them. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Like, yeah, it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this place? Oh, it's cool. It's like, it's a nice little cozy home. Um, but it feels good. Like there's still stuff left behind. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. It's like kind of unexpected because of how easy it is. It's yeah. Like just walking in and like all this stuff is still here. Yeah, it was very easy to just explore this place. Yeah. So guys, if you don't know, on this trip, we're rocking with Steve Ronan. We're rocking with the band in Nashville. He may or may not change his name by the end of this. We'll fig we'll figure it out. But if you guys are not familiar with them, check them out down in the description, and. Yeah, they see some amazing places. They go on their own trips, other places around the world, but this time we're teaming up and we're, we've been seeing some cool stuff. So let's continue to explore and let's see what else is in here. So guys, we just explored that room in there and now we're in this room where there is two very nice sofas left behind. This really funky looking lamp. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but it looks weird. This room has a bar in it. I did get this wrong last time. I said it was like some kind of pulpit or pew or something, but this is actually just a bar. Probably would have had some alcohol. Chilling back here, there might even be some. I don't see anything right there. There's a record. No alcohol left, which is very surprising for France. Usually there's a lot of alcohol left behind. Got the very nice, stone fireplace very beautiful look at this this is from china right here probably got this as a souvenir while he was there but he spent a lot of time in china i've seen quite a bit of mirrors that look just like this but this one oh my goodness i love it to see it in a different country is just amazing these french doors go all the way to that side where we explored earlier And this is just almost like a living room, I, I think, of some sort. Just a second ago, I walked through these doors. And last time I came here, I did not film what's back there. And I saw, and I so, I am so, so, so happy that I'm refilming this. Because I think the best bedroom in the house is right back there. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but... It's absolutely incredible, and I cannot believe I missed it last time. So let's go check it out. So I think what I thought this was, was I thought this was like a closet. And it didn't wrap around like this. So. Wow. Look at this. This is like a doll from China. Half of her head is knocked off. But we come through here and check it out. Oh my goodness. Like, look at this bedroom. It is a complete time capsule. I, like, I didn't even see this last time I was here. Look at the bed. Oh my Lord, it's so pretty. The pink, it's plush. It's got all the pillows. The mattress is still here, unlike the rest of the rooms. The mattress is still here. Look at that. Wow, this bed just looks like so comfy and cozy. Like I just wanna sleep on it. Look at that. Wow. Has a nice wallpaper in here too. Okay. 
and there's nothing in the wardrobe, as you can see. But there is more things in here, like this cabinet. There could be things in the drawers. Looks like everything's kind of empty, though. Like I said, they took a lot of things, but they also left a lot as well. So I, I'm sure they took everything of value is worth, like jewelry and whatnot. But they left this amazing furniture. I love it so much. This room also has its own sink and everything, so you could get up, brush your teeth in the morning, wash your hands, everything like that. Another amazing fireplace. I just love the theme of these rooms. Definitely was not expecting this. Wow. All right. It is time to go upstairs. It's so decayed. It almost feels like it would just collapse, but it's, it's actually pretty sturdy for what it is. But it is this spiral staircase that goes up. It looks like the amount of wallpaper, but now it's just concrete. Let's go upstairs, let's check it out. All right, everyone, well, we've made it upstairs. Check that out. Goes up to the third story, which is just the attic. We're gonna start on this side of the house, on the right side. Come to this bedroom here. Not much going on in here, honestly, but there is a really cool looking lamp here. It's really tall, it's about six foot tall. And this looks like one of those areas where a bed would have went right in here. Would have had curtains that hangs up so you can have your privacy when you sleep. But there's no bed left. Of course, it's got its own fireplace. I believe every single room in this house has all their own fireplace. And guys, I don't know if you hear that, but just like last time, it's about to start raining and we haven't even got the flyer drones yet. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> so, let's hope that it doesn't rain when we get outside and we can fly the drones and everything will be good. And we'll get some cool shots of this place because that's one thing that I missed showing you guys. It was like the whole overview of this magnificent property here in France. So, let's just hope and pray. Dear God, please let the rain stop for just a little bit so we can fly the drone. Amen. <laughs> All right. Let's continue to explore, but this room has its own sink, just like a, a couple other rooms in the house. Look at this, it's like an electric toilet, but this is, a, this is what I mean, it's like a bidet mixed in with it. So, it has that feature. Through this little room right here. We have the balcony of the mansion. Look at this. Yeah, it's starting to rain. There's a train track right there behind it. I imagine nobody would want to live right behind a train track. Maybe that's another reason they wanted to leave. So, like I said before in the other video, I don't know if this was like a little bedroom or what, because it's very, very small, but there is like a small headboard here like a little blue headboard and footboard. But it could have been, it definitely could have been a little room. Or it could be like a closet, kind of like how the other rooms have really large closets. They just put like, you know, cabinets in here to put their clothes. But we're gonna come right through here. So we'll look at this one first. Won't be in here very long just because it's not as good Oh my gosh, there's a dead cat. Oh, it looks like it's a mummy, like a mummified cat. Oh, I feel so bad for it. Oh, it's so sad. It smells really bad in this room. It's just been laying there for years. That's very sad, very unfortunate. Let's get out of this room. We'll come to our next bedroom here and look at that. I love this bedroom and I actually love this bedroom so much that at my house, at my computer where I edit all my videos, this is my background photo. 
I love it so much. The bed is looking like it's falling more and more apart every day. It looks in a little worse condition than even last time I saw it, but it's still sitting here. So that means nobody's really messed with it. It's just been naturally falling apart. But look at the headboard and the footboard. Just magnificent details, very fancy. Love seeing stuff like that. And then you see this crazy looking wallpaper throughout this entire room right here. I never really got to look at what it was exactly. Looks like some angels, guy fishing, families dancing around a tree, their dog, farming, sheeps. It's a whole lot of different stuff, but it looks absolutely amazing going in this room. You have your chair here and your little table with your books on it so you can read. You have a swan. And I never really looked what was inside of these drawers. Look at this. We could probably use this. Like, I'm being 100% honest. This is something we could probably use on this trip. <laughs> but we're not. We're not going to take it. But... Here's this room. I love how the wallpaper is kind of falling off right there. The chandelier is still hanging up. I just love, 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 love this room. It also has its own bathroom and its own little desk right here. This desk did have more books on it last time I saw it, but this is like their little desk. Some skeleton keys and whatnot on it. A lot of just papers and you know, letters and whatnot. But this room has its own bathroom. So we'll take a look at it. And see, this is like what I was saying before. This uh, bathtub is really modern. Um, either they were gonna put this in or they were gonna take it out, but it looks very nice. Like, it's a very big jetted tub. I would love a tub like this, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, the wallpaper's been kind of stripped. You gotta say hi to Jeremy. We got Carter over here. What's up, Jeremy? What up, what up? Everybody, if you don't know Jeremy, he's been uh, on this trip with me for a while, so. Yeah, man, we've had some really good times, made some good memories on this trip, for sure. For real, man. <laughs> yeah, I just stepped outside to enjoy the rain. Yeah, too bad totally. for the drones. <laughs> I know, That's I, w I was thinking that the whole time, actually, <laughs> in the back of my mind. Like, how are we gonna fly the drones? Hopefully it stops. Yeah, we can just, let up for a little bit. Yeah, and I bet the clouds are going to look amazing out there. Oh my gosh. All right. We're going to continue down the hallway on the other side of the house now. We're going to see these other bedrooms. I'm looking at this door right here, it kind of protrudes a little bit. Just a little different. And I think this room was in the process of being renovated. All the wallpaper is stripped. The cabinets are pulled out. And all that stuff. On to the next. And I think this is one of the rooms I really love. Oh, yes it is. Check that out. So I really love this bed. The one thing that's a bit different, and this is what I mean by uh, things with abandoned places. This painting was actually in another bedroom over there. So guys, if you guys are familiar with this channel, like I said, and you've seen that other video, you know this was not in here. So the thing about urban exploring and uh, abandoned places is there's a lot of people that do this. There's a lot of people that come and change things up, change things around, will move things, to stage uh, different photo shoots and everything like that. And they put this there and it doesn't really go with it, I don't feel like. I think it looked better than the other room. But either way, we're shooting it how it is and that's what we're gonna do. So this room is one of my favorites. Look at the, like the gold bed. Still made just here in the corner. It's very very ornate very fancy looking Here's a photo of the actual guy that used to live here. I'm gonna blur his face out, but This is actually right outside. This is actually here at the house. You can look at this This is like a little study thing. You can like sit here and read 
have a little desk right there almost. And it actually sort of matches the bed, kind of. The color is a little bit off, but maybe one is just more faded than the other over time. And here's one crazy thing I've noticed. Here is him in China with some of the people that he worked with. That is from the, the 1970s, I believe, that photo. There's actually another one we're going to look at here in a little bit. And I actually hear that this painting right here is, a, is like a, a famous painting. I know it's not like a, this isn't the original one ever, but I mean, I, I hear people have the same like lady right here. So if you do, let me know in the comments. That'd be, be really cool to know that. And of course, this one has its own bathroom as well. Has a little bit of a different uh, style right here. But I thoroughly enjoy this. Looks like somebody's been using the toilets. Really nasty. And this is a very uh, strange tiling in here. It's like all copy and paste, copy and paste type thing. Made it look like marble, but it's not really marble. Very nice bathtub though. And the rain has started. Come in, take a look. Honestly, the rain makes for a very cool and ominous vibe. And I'm here for it all day, every day. I want you to comment down where you're watching from. I want to know where everybody is from. Maybe you're from France. Maybe you're from, you know, Japan. Maybe you're from China. Maybe you're from America. I want you to comment down below where you're from because I want to know where the people that watch these videos, where they're watching it from because it is amazing to see people from all around the world connecting and seeing beautiful things like this. And as you can tell, we are in the next bedroom. This is probably still my favorite bedroom of the whole house. I can't even lie, like look at it. I love the red. Oh my gosh, the wallpaper, the, the chairs. This, this room is my favorite by far. This bed is so fancy looking. It matches with the red carpet here, the red chairs, everything that is red in here. It just looks so fancy. And even with the touch of red that is all on the wallpapers, just makes this room look very cool, very nice. I would love a bed like this. <laughs> and here's the other photo of him in China. Mr. Lang is his name. And then one really cool thing about this room is this cabinet right here. So, in this cabinet, you know, there's, it looks like there's holes punched out. I love the colors of it, but I want you to see this. So right next to this window, these are actually the pieces that went inside of that cabinet right there. So it is a man and a woman. This man is dressed very fancy in a top hat. This looks very well hand-painted. I love this so much. And then on these other panels is like buildings and water and swans and whatnot but just take a look at this room again i love how kind of eerie and dark it got in here it makes it look so fantastic so imagine the fire was going you're in your bedroom you sit here you read a book you drink your tea your coffee or whatever and you just have a nice beautiful night here in france we have beautiful weather outside I just love that it's raining, I'm trying to get everything to focus. But there is a van down there that I do want to check out. I want to go more inside of it. Last time I didn't go like fully inside the van. I just kind of peeked in, but I want to look what's actually in there. There could be some cool things left behind. Now, this guy, oh, he definitely had good taste. I love this place. It just, you know, I, I really, really, really love taking a step back in time and seeing how other people live their lives because obviously it's a lot different than mine maybe even yours so i just love the feeling of this it's like it's like living history you know all right so we're going to leave the red bedroom now 
come out into this room right here. And this room has a pink bed here. There's not much else left in this room. And look at the wallpaper. It looks like it's just been ripped off. So it looks like they were stripping this room. There's not like hardly any pieces of the fireplace left. Right here, we have one of those books. Still sitting here. The rain is just making this place so cool. I wonder if this was just a box full of cigarettes or if it's, it probably was, what am I saying? <laughs> it's one thing I noticed about Europe too. A lot more people smoke cigarettes here. Not like hating on anybody, but you know, it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm just not a cigarette person. I'm more of a, you know, <laughs> I can't say it, but I think we've seen just about everything. I'm gonna check the upstairs. Last time I didn't check it. We'll see if it's anything interesting. Stairs are a little bit shaky. Yeah, we're in the attic now. But I didn't see this last time I was here, so you guys are seeing new things just like me. This looks like where they stored everything. Stinks really bad in here. Probably shouldn't be in here very long. Yeah, just a lot of stuff. We got one more room right over here. Well, a couple actually. I wonder if there's like a bedroom up here. Definitely could have been. Still goes a little bit. It's a little bit more eerie up here, honestly. Yeah, this is the very top of the house. This is the attic. Well, I think that's the house. So let's go meet up with my friends and we'll, uh, we'll say our goodbyes and not for each other, but we'll say goodbye to you and yeah, let's go see where they are. Check out the van that's out here. Look at this front door. Oh, the floor is actually kind of uh, not so safe in this thing, but it's a Ford. There's no bed in here, but maybe something laid down. But yeah, this is it. This is the van. Must have used this to travel all throughout Europe and everything. That's really cool. All right, everyone, that's gonna be the end of today's exploration. I wanna thank my friends for coming along with me, Steve Ronan, Ben in Nashville, or Jeremy Nash, whatever it's gonna be in the future, we don't know. Jeremy but. Nash. <laughs> everyone vote Jeremy Nash right now. Yeah, if you like Jeremy Nash, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get out of this place. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a, like a part two type of thing, but it was still amazing. We saw some rooms that we didn't see before and I quite enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment down below, and we'll see you next time. Big Banks out. <laughs>